Hey everybody, welcome to Keep My Shorts. I've got some tasty nuts from Guru Lucky. Not sure if I've ever had these before, but I'm pretty stoked to try them because they are, they say they're tasty. So they are a ready to eat snack, chickpeas coated, sorry, chickpeas coated peanuts with spices. This entire time I've had these, I thought they were just chickpeas but they're chickpeas coated peanuts. So the peanuts coated in chickpeas powder, I suppose. Interesting what you find out when you read a, a package, a wrapper. <laughs> uh, hot and spicy. I did see that before. <laughs> made in Canada, I guess. There's a Canada flag poking out. Scissor on the back, made in Canada. So apparently I didn't read much on the back either. Ingredients. <laughs> Peanuts. <laughs> Chickpea flour and or pea flour. Cornstarch, canola oil, salt, chili pepper, sorry, chili powder, mango powder, black pepper, paprika powder, sugar and spices <laughs> contains peanuts <laughs> and chickpeas. Um... HB Caseons Limited, Surrey, BC, Canada. Guru Lucky. So Guru Lucky is out of Surrey, BC? I did not know that. Made in Canada from domestic and imported ingredients. Uh, high source of fiber, cholesterol free, high in protein, zero trans fat, and it's a vegan product. They look pretty tasty. I realize lately I've been getting away from talking about the the packaging, the artwork, the label, all of that stuff. And I should kind of be getting back to that stuff because these companies, you know, they, they put effort into their products, into their imaging, and into their labels and whatnot. I don't know, I should be talking about it more because people were talking about it in the comments saying, hey, that's a cool looking label. And it's like, yeah, I should have mentioned that. That's a good point. So I'm going to make a point of mentioning that. And I also want to mention, I, I, I suggested in a previous video that I was talking about getting rid of my ratings systems out of 10. And um, Andy said, no, please don't. I like your rating systems. And he likes to guess what I'm going to rate them. And that's enough. That's all I need to hear right there. One person appreciates it and nobody seems to really be bothered by it. So let's keep it going. Um, thank you very much for your input. I really appreciate that, buddy. So let's open these up. I seem to remember, oh, the scissors are in my pocket. I seem to remember that they're kind of hard to open by tearing or maybe I'm thinking of something else, but either way I did bring, maybe I'll try it. I did bring the scissors. Yeah, this might be the brand that I was really struggling with on a previous video. So we'll cut it down there, I guess. Oh, wow. No, I don't think I've had these before. Those do not do not look familiar. There's some good sized peanuts in there for sure. Oh. They smell? What do we got in there? What am I smelling? It's almost like a dusty smell. It's like a... I'm not sure what that is. It's familiar. It's like a wheat or something like that. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it's the chickpea flour. Or, and or pea flour. Pea with an A. Just to clarify. Look at the size of these things. Pretty good size. Let's try one out. From Authentic Guru Lucky Taste, these are Tasty Nuts, Peanuts Bujia. Heat my shorts, they do have pepper powder in them. Let's give it a try. Hmm. Interesting. That initial taste is very familiar. Hmm. 
So it's got kind of a, almost a grassy taste to them. It does have a slight kick of spice. I just detected that just as I said it. I'm not really getting any of the mango powder. I am getting the either the chili and or the paprika powder. Whew, a couple of them stuck together and there's one broken open so you can see what they look like on the inside. Quite a thick layer of the um, the seasoning coating. Allergen statement may contain peanut. It, de it definitely contains peanut, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Tree nuts, soy, wheat, milk, sesame, sulfites, and mustard. Interesting. They're not bad. They're not fantastic, but they're pretty good. They kind of, they're snackable. They grow on you. The first one I ate was, to be honest, okay, this is weird, but the very first one I ate, the first initial taste reminded me slightly of that gamey flavor of lamb meat, if you're familiar with that. And I know that's weird. I know how weird that sounds, because as I thought it in my head, I thought to myself, that's weird, Steve. But that's what I interpreted. It's very interesting. I'm gonna actually sense for that flavor again here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Gamey lamb taste with like a, almost like a curry flavor and a grassy sort of a hay sort of a flavor. A peanut flavor. I'm still not really tasting the mango powder at all. But these are pretty good. For a flavor rating, I think I'd give these like a, like a six, yeah, I'll give them a 6 out of 10. Not bad. They're not great, but they're pretty good. My heat level right now, I'm going to give it a 1 out of 10. I am getting a slight sting on the tip of my tongue, the middle of my tongue, even in the throat a little bit. Nothing down in the stomach, but a very, very slight tickle of a, of a sting. If you were at Habanero Limit, you might call these a... I don't know, two or three out of ten. And if you're at jalapeno limit, you could call these a four or five out of ten, something like that. With my num with my rating systems, you can always kind of um, give me a number or two, a point or two, in either direction of uh, variance. Because I'm not all that accurate. I'm working on becoming more accurate, but. You know, it's just like a spur of the moment thought. So that's what it comes down to. Don't don't take notes and you know make a list of how much how spicy everything is, because again, tolerances change every day too. Big sigh for Maggie. Anyways, um, I would recommend these to someone that wants a very slightly spicy peanut snack, a little bit different, sort of like a curried peanut snack almost even though it's I don't think there's it doesn't mention curry curry in there chili powder paprika spices you never know what's in there would I restock these yeah probably why not I don't dislike them at all I would restock them but you know what I do require a little bit more heat so I think I'm gonna add some tincture to these. I'll be honest with you. 
some late for work vampire teddy uh strawberry peach i had to look at it to uh remember what flavor it was and i actually don't remember what peppers are in this but i don't know i'm i grabbed this one because it's mango and peach and because they're sorry it's strawberry peach and there's mango in this so i was like you know what let's just lean further into that fruity vibe which i was kind of hoping there was a little bit more of but let's add some spicy tropical fruit tincture to this um let's use this yeah here's the plate and i think if i do this right here that works just fine so i'll just grab a few Oh, look at that. Just the crunchy bits. I'm going to eat that. Hmm. It definitely has like a, a sort of a curry, sort of a flavor to it. So how many is this? Seven of them there. Okay. Um, oh, I need those here too. Right there. <laughs> Counter's kind of a mess. I didn't bother cleaning it up too much either. <laughs> this tincture is now long gone. It's discontinued quite a while ago, but I still have it because I have quite a few tinctures here. So, let's put a few drops on it. On them. <laughs> Oh yeah, and I hope you're all having a great day today, and if you're celebrating a birthday today, happy birthday, and to the rest of us, happy unbirthday. Forgot to mention that at the beginning, because there was no birthdays, so I totally forgot. So, I don't know, there, I think there was two of them, two drops on most, and I did like, I don't even know, three or four drops on the double. I didn't even take note on it. Let's try it out. Um, tasty nuts with vampire teddy. Heat my shorts. Hmm. Mm hmm. That's really good, actually. You know what? That was really good. That had a good kick for sure. Those flavors really worked well together. It really brought out the fruity flavors in that tincture. To be completely honest with you, Vampire Teddy is one one of my um, less favorite tinctures. It's not bad, not by any means, but I wasn't really tasting a whole lot of the fruity flavors when I reviewed it the first time and when I used it from time to time. But mixing it with those tasty nuts, that just worked really well. They've really complemented each other really nicely. And um, I'm really glad I did that because that just kind of opens opportunities, opens my eyes to ideas, I guess you could say, for different ways to use that tincture now because that was delicious. Definitely going to be putting that tincture and other ones like it too on those peanuts. My flavor rating now... 
sorry, the flavor rating on that. <laughs> I kind of meshed my sentences there. Flavor rating on that. That's an 8 out of 10. That boosted the flavor rating way up. My heat now is... Hmm. What are you going to guess, Andy? Oh, wait. <laughs> um... I don't know. I don't even know. <laughs> I think a two and a half again. Same as yesterday. It's not quite... I don't even know how to describe it actually. It's just at the point where it's making me start to sweat a little bit. Make my mouth water quite a bit. The burns all over my mouth, roof of the mouth, tongue. Um, my roof of the mouth is healed quite substantially since I last mentioned it. So, so that's not really bothering me too much. Little bit of burn in the throat, little bit of warmth down in the chest and the stomach. But a very, very manageable burn. That was very nice. <laughs> Did you guess close, Andy? I, I, I feel like you have it, like I say, within a point or two, for sure. I think yesterday you said you were a half a point off. I didn't answer your comment, I don't think. I forget. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is a 16 minute video. I recommend putting some tincture on those tasty nuts if you haven't already tried that. And I recommend those tasty nuts. They're pretty good, especially when you put some pepper tincture on them. Where do you think I'm going right now? Yeah, you're right. You're right, of course. I don't even need to announce it anymore. It's mandatory Maggie time. And she's doing her cute cannonball maneuver where she hugs her back legs. That's just the cutest. It's just the cutest. Hey Maggie, are you so cute? Yeah. She's such a good girl. She's actually spent most of the day in bed. Oh, uh, well, the various beds in the bedroom. She's barely come out of the bedroom at all this morning. Until a little while ago, she came out. She's a very good girl. <laughs> we really should be out in the yard right now. It is absolutely beautiful again. I'm not sure what the temperature is, but I haven't spent much time outside. <laughs> Anyways. Pardon me. A little pepper burp. Uh, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Make sure you hop over to lateforworkyoutube.com. Check it out these days. They have chocolate chocolates for sale now. Spicy ones and non-spicy ones and even like habanero spice ones. And uh, I've tried one of the samples actually. One of the ones I reviewed, I think they decided not to release that one. But there's other ones that are being released that you should really hop over to their website and browse their selection these days. Challenges, chocolates, hot sauces, it's kind of the, the main things you're going to see on there these days. So make sure you check it out. I'll leave a link down below. In this corner you'll see our Heat My Shorts logo. In this corner, Late For Work's YouTube channel. Hop over there and give them a subscribe if you haven't already. Keep an eye out for live streams more so these days. Uh, maybe not uh, in the coming days though. Either way, up here some playlists or videos for you to enjoy. Hope you'll have an awesome day. I love you all very much and we will hang out again sometime soon. I promise. It's been Heat My Shorts with Maggie and Steve. The Maggie Show. Bye bye.